for the Diocese of Gadapa and also for Divivani TV Camp Corpus Fund. Donor, late Chitta Papiredi in his death on his death anniversary. May his soul rest in peace. The Mass is offered by Dr. Erva Gita, Chitta Thomas Reddy and family members. Today's Rosary Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind all our sins and failures, and ask for God's pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned through my thoughts and in my thoughts, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom is a kindly spirit. The Spirit of the Lord has filled the world. First reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom, Chapter 1, verses 1 to 7. Love righteousness, you rulers of the earth. Think of the Lord with uprightness and seek him with sincerity of heart. Because he is found by those who do not put him to test and manifests himself to those who do not distrust him. For perverse thoughts separate people from God, and when his power is tested, it convicts the foolish, because wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul, or dwell in a body enslaved to sin. For a holy and disciplined spirit will flee from deceit, and will rise and depart from foolish thoughts, and will be ashamed at the approach of unrighteousness. 
for wisdom is a kindly spirit and will not free a blasphemer from the guilt of his words because God is witness of his inmost feelings and a true observer of his heart and a hearer of his tongue because the spirit of the Lord has filled the world and that which holds all things together knows what is said. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You yourself know my resting and my rising. You discern my thoughts from afar. You walk, you mark when I walk or lie down. You know all my ways through and through. Our response, lead, lead me, Lord, in, in the, the way everlasting. everlasting. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Our response, lead, lead me, lead Lord, me, Lord, in the, in way, the way everlasting. everlasting. Or where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. Our response? Lead, lead me, Lord, Lord, in the way everlasting. If I take the wings of the dawn, or dwell at the sea's farthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. Our response? Lead, lead me, Lord, Lord in, in the, the way, way everlasting. everlasting. Kindly rise as we prepare for the gospel. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life. Hallelujah. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Temptations to sin are sure to come, but woe to the one through whom they come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung round his neck and he were cast into the sea than that he should cause one of these little ones to sin. Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times saying, I repent, you must forgive him. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If you had faith like a grain of mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, the readings of today, they invite us to reflect over some important themes in the Bible. In fact, the gospel of today has three different themes. One is temptation, the other is forgiveness, and the next is faith. 
as we can understand these three themes are always interrelated let me speak more about one important theme that really distinguishes Christianity from other religions the value of forgiveness today Jesus tells if your brother comes to you that he repents you must forgive him not one time seven times elsewhere we can see that it is translated in several ways seven times 77 times 70 times seven whatever it is one thing is very important when someone comes to us with repentance we are to forgive them unconditionally In the actual sense, forgiveness is an attitude of the strong, the great. Then why do Jesus ask us to forgive? Maybe we understand this, this value in a better sense when we really introspect our own selves. Dear brothers and sisters, when we introspect our own selves, we really come to know about our own being, the way we think, the way we handle our relationships, the way we talk, the way we behave. When we really become aware of the way we live, our lifestyle, I think an on honest introspection will keep us very silent. We have nothing to uh, criticize others we have nothing to judge others because what they do we find in our very selves I think this kind of introspection will really help us to have a, a better understanding of forgiveness therefore in other words there is nothing that we have to forgive our brothers the way we live the style of life we live, it is God who forgives us always for our shortcomings, for our way of thinking, for our attitude, for the way we handle our relationships, the sense of justice we have in life. It is God who bears with all these frailties and shortcomings in our lives. God forgives us and therefore we share that forgiveness with our brothers and sisters, not because we are sinless, not because we are faultless, not because we are great. Therefore, in that sense, forgiveness does not become the attitude of the rich or attitude of the great or attitude of the strong. We just share the forgiveness which God uh, gives us every day in our very lives. Therefore, my dear brothers, today we must begin to, from today we must begin to every day introspect our own uh, life, the way we live, the way we handle our own relationships, the way we behave with our brothers and sisters. Another important theme that we find in our uh, reading today is faith. Apostles ask him, increase, ask Jesus, increase our faith. And Jesus does not answer the question really for the, in the way the apostles expected. It does if you had faith like a grain of mustard seed. Therefore, one must understand there is no increase or decrease of faith. There is only one thing. Either you have faith or you don't have faith. There are only two things. Therefore, we must have at least that amount of faith which, uh, which Jesus tells a grain of mustard, amount of grain of mustard seed. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, with these reflections, let us uh, spend this uh, morning uh, in the presence of God, introspecting our very life and really becoming aware of our very being so that we may better our relationships, so that we may better our own uh, behavior, we may better our own way of thinking, our attitudes, so that that kind of life brings joy to uh, each moment of our life. Let us pray.
give my hands to do your work and Jesus Lord I give them willingly I give my feet to go your way and every step I shall take cheerfully for the joy of the Lord is my strength my strength Oh, the joy of the Lord is my help, my help. For the power of His Spirit is in my heart, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our Amen. good and for good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through Amen. him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heavens and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of power, power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ has risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francesco, our Pope, Paul Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your, your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us sum up all our prayers and petitions with the prayer our Lord Himself taught us. Our Father, our Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always free from sin, be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power and, and the glory are yours now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of Lamb God, God, who takes away the, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away all our sins. Happy are we who are called to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
prayer of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i de- and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you holily never permit me to be separated from you amen may the working of your power o lord increase in us we pray so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. the mass is ended let us go in peace and serve the lord thanks, thanks be to god Rejoicing night and day as I walk the pilgrim way For the hand of God in all my life I see And the reason of my bliss, yes the secret all is this That the Comforter abides in me He abides, He abides, He abides, He abides, Hallelujah, He abides in me He abides, He abides, He abides He abides, hallelujah, He abides in me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the Comforter abides in me. Once my heart was full of sin, once I had no peace within, till I heard how Jesus died upon the tree. Then I fell down at His feet, and there came a peace so sweet, now the Comforter abides in me. He abides, He abides, Hallelujah, He abides in me. He abides, He abides, He abides, he abides Hallelujah, He abides in me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the Comforter abides in me.